Hello Louisiana Beer Reviews. We're doing a dual review of Qingdao Beer. This was sent to me by Paul Honor, who got the contract to be the sole importer of the beer in the U.S. Hey Paul Honor. Well, I just want to make an observation about the name. It reminds me of a lot of, like a name of a street we have around in New Orleans called Chapatulis. It's pronounced Chapatulis. It actually starts with a T, like this one. So yeah. it's T-C-H. But most Americans call this Singtao. But I was yeah. at a Chinese restaurant in Kenner, Louisiana, and the lady was from China. She Ching said, Zhao. "She says pronounced Qingdao." I said, "Okay, Qingdao." And the city where it's made is Qingdao. So it's, I guess. So you think they city. really pronounce it like that, or that was her just her? Was she? Did she have a strong accent? Oh yeah, I mean she, so she grew maybe, up in China. Yeah, she maybe. says she says Qingdao. All right. I was told it's so Ding, anyway. Qingdao. No. So there's the cap. This beer was started in 1903 by German two, a German and a British guy who were starting brewing in China. And what's the fluid balance on this? This is 12, so we get a full 12. Just oh, goes wow. to show you when they tell you they can't send a 12 ounce, they really can. Huh. So. Uh, well, this was actually gifted to you by the Poland or. Right. Oh. But it's always been 12 ounces here. It's been shipped. They started selling it in the United States in 1972. But it's been on the market in China since 03. Now, 4.7% uh, alcohol, 19 IBUs. Um, I would assume this is a rice beer. Well, listen to the ingredients. Okay. Crafted using malted barley, hops, yeast, and pure mountain water. It doesn't say anything about rice or corn. Huh. So it might be made according to the German Reinheitsko book. Okay. Uh, that would make sense while the Paul Letter Company. Maybe I just guess. With this I just brand. guess they got into it because they had a good way of getting it distributed better. Um, <clears throat> a few more things. If you look on the Qingdao, Qing, <laughs> the Qingdao website, they show a whole bunch of beers that we don't get. We get this one, the number mm. one selling beer in China and the number one Chinese beer in the world. But they were showing a wheat beer, Qingdao Strong, not eight point nine percent. Qingdao Stout. A 4.7 and a 7.4 percent stout, hmm. pure draft. There was like ten of them in the lineup. I was like, we need those, especially the stout and the strong. Right. All right. So you've had this, I'm sure, at Chinese restaurants or just at long, your house. Long time ago. I mean, so long time ago. You know, it was just like when we were just drinking beer. We don't really okay. want more taste. So it's been on the market. Oh, a few more things. The uh, <clears throat> IBUs are 19. They gave me a sheet information. They said the the hops come from Canada and Australia, and the and the water is spring water from an area north of this city called Laoshan. Spring water, Chinese spring water. All right. Okay. So here we go. So before I even taste, I'm gonna be expecting something clean, crisp. Probably really good. That would pair well with all kind of spicy Chinese food, I'm sure. Oh uh, yeah, it's got that that kind of cracker. You know, it's got that European thing going on with it. Uh, what did they did they did they preserve this beer in any kind of way to send it to us? They put it in bottles and ship it in crates and yeah. I guess. Well, when I was in the Navy, we would get San Miguel, and that was uh, preserved with formaldehyde. That's all I'm just saying. You can taste the grassy hops, <clears throat> medium body, crisp finish, crackery, malt. It's pretty simple, but it's similar to a German beer. It's simple and good. It's along the lines of like Heineken, but not as punchy as Heineken. Yeah, not as high alcohol. Um, What's the alcohol? That's 4.7. 4.7? Isn't that kind of perfect for a beer? I mean, especially when you go with this style. There is a 5% version they send off to uh, Canada in the big bomber bottles. Um, mm -hmm. I'd like to try to, I'd really like to try a Qingdao Strong at you know, 8.9%. See what that one's like. It's probably going to taste like strong beer. Yeah, well, that makes sense. All right, uh, <clears throat> so good lager beer. Not much else to say about it, I guess. It's light. It's crisp. It's a, it's a dry finish. It goes down really smooth. It's it's real light on the palate. It's that little grassy hop that you were talking about. Not getting much of a malt character off of it. 
It's like it's pale malt. It's like a little yeah. cracker. I would assume that's the barley that I'm tasting. Yeah. So yeah, it's very drinkable or crushable, as some folks would say. Um, yeah, I would if you if you see this anywhere, I would highly recommend trying it. Uh, if you like the way this is, I would highly recommend buying it. Yeah, you should so, you should be able to find it at most Chinese restaurants in America. Well, yeah, I, I've seen it in the shelves and. Oh yeah, Matherns has it. Matherns has yeah. it uh, for about eight ninety nine. Oh, that's not too bad. Six pack. So if it's eight ninety nine in Matherns, we know we can get it cheaper elsewhere. Because they're more like a premium price store. Yeah. You may, I mean, you might find it 50 cents cheaper, you're not going to find it way cheaper. Um, I'm going to try to find it for seven ninety nine. dollars Okay. You know, I've never seen it at Walmart, now that I think of it. Walmart only goes with what sells, as you know. That's and why you get those markdown deals on whiskey. It's, it's got to be a big seller over there, yeah. It's not a big seller. They, they pulled Rolling Rock at Walmart. And the distributor said, I don't know why they did it. They just pulled it. Couldn't explain it. Anyway, uh... Mm -hmm. So, what do you score this? <clears throat> oh, it's an A. This yeah. is an A beer. I mean, there's, there's no imperfections with it at all. It's really crisp and enjoyable. Uh, it's got a great flavor profile. Uh, the alcohol is totally hidden in it. We've had so many off beers the last few years, True. huh? We've had, yeah, we've had our doozies up. Even some of the uh, go-to beers. Uh, and I, I know with... Uh, with things being all in an uproar last year, going into partial this year, that uh, I guess companies were just doing what they had to do. I don't so know. you can't blame them. So I'm gonna say 93, <clears throat> 9.3 out of 10, 93. I'll give it a 95. It's up there. 95. It's 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 pretty much almost perfect in the style. Okay. Well. <clears throat> Speak laissez les bon temps relay. We're going to end this review by saying, Y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana. As a matter of fact, I give it a 96. Oh, wait a minute. All right.